<laughs> Praise the Lord. Got your knucklehead here, a.k.a. Brother of June. Brothers and sisters, we turn our Bibles to John chapter 12. We've been looking at verses 42 to 46, and it reads, Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also many believed on him. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him, lest they should be put out of the synagogue. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Jesus cried and said, He that believeth on me, believeth not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that seeth me, seeth him that sent me. I am come a light into the world, that whosoever believeth on me should not abide in darkness. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, to the hearing, to the admission, to the application, to the distribution of this great word. Take it from the greatest book that man could ever possess. Our brother, this is God's word. We give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise in the precious name of his son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. <laughs> sisters. In John chapter 12, we see the apostle John records of an occasion where a group of individuals who belonged to a cult that wasn't preaching the gospel of grace, they happened to hear the gospel of grace and they got saved. Praise the Lord! And so these individuals you know, they still belong to this cult that wasn't preaching the gospel of grace. And they didn't want to say nothing about it because they were guaranteed a position in this cult that wasn't preaching the gospel of grace by the leaders. So they didn't say nothing because they knew that the leaders didn't like, like you know, they couldn't stand our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So they didn't say nothing about uh, you know, them believing on our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ because they wanted to, uh, uh, to, to keep their position in that cult that they belonged to. And the Apostle John went on to say that these individuals who were saved by believing on the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and wanted to remain in that cult because they didn't want to lose their, their position that they had in that cult, the Apostle John said that these men, they loved the praises of men more than the praises of God. These men were looking more to the approval of man than their approval from Jehovah God. Then we see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ addressing these men who would rather have heard the, the, the approval of man, especially these men who, who, who don't believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, rather than the approval of God who loves them. Jesus then goes on and he's speaking to them uh, 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 specifically. And he says, he that believeth on me, this is what Jesus is saying, you don't only believe just on me, but you believe on Jehovah God. And he that seen me, seen in the, in the natural, you've also seen God, Jehovah God, in the spirit. And then Jesus goes on to say this. He says, I am the light of the world. And that light, no, I don't understand Jesus Christ when he's referring to himself. That light, the revelation, the insights, the ideas, the concepts of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to, uh, 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 um, illuminating who he is in Jehovah God. I am that light of, for the world that you should not. And Jesus is specific when he uses that term should not. He, he, he said that you should not be abiding in darkness. When you believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you believe in God. When you, when you, you, when you see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you've seen God. You can't, and he goes like this, and you see the light. 
how much God loves you, how much God has forgiven you of all your sins, past, present, and future, uh, 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 and how much God loves you, that, that light, when you believe that you should abide in darkness, it, 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 it's diametrically opposite. You can't do that. And Jesus said, you should not. You ain't going to feel comfortable. You're not going to feel comfortable when you're listening to, to a message that's so contrary to the gospel of grace. That uh, if somebody says that you can lose your salvation, the, the spirit of the Lord, he'll guide you all truth and teach you all things and bring this thing to memory and, and say that you believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and you have everlasting life. And, and, and when I talk about, uh, 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 oh, God is angry with you and things like that, and, and that abiding in that darkness, that, and, then, and then, the, then the spirit, uh, the spirit of the Lord is going to come and remind you that, he's, he, that the blood of Jesus Christ has perpetually forgiven you of all your sins. And you won't be able to uh, 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 abide with that. Believe in our Lord. And, and you, 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 you believe in God. You believe in and you've seen God in the spirit. To abide in darkness. It's not going to happen. And so these individuals who, 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 who where, 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 it, where it says that, that love, the praises of man, the approval of man, rather than. The approval of God, that, uh, it's going to come to a point, it's, it's going to be so uncomfortable. It's going to be so weird to sit and listen and to abide in it. Where we see in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 25, where, the, uh, where King Solomon says this, For the fear of man, the, 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 the love of the approval of man, it's a trap. But he that trusts in the Lord is safe. And when you trust in the Lord and, and, and you're in that safe place, you're in a safe place where you can praise the Lord. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you. May the Lord lift up his counsel to you. May the Lord give you his peace. And I commend you all to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up an inheritance to those who are sanctified in the precious name of his Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Amen. And out the King and is able to keep you from falling, present you for us in the presence of his glory, both glory, majesty, dominion, power, both now and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Amen. Take the advice of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He is the light of the world. You believe on him. You believe on his father. You've seen Jesus Christ. You've seen his father. And, 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 and you've seen the light. There is no way that you should abide in darkness. And that darkness is the false gospel. A of, of, of false gospel that don't preach no grace. You ain't gonna, that ain't gonna happen. So believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, where God is glorified and magnified, where you be edified and, and sanctified, and praise the Lord! The kingdom of darkness <laughs> is vilified and nullified. <laughs> God bless you. <laughs> God <may> love. <laughs>